here comes the cat, and it's a zoom, a signal that she did it again. One more enemy ship on the bottom. for the lee shore now and quiet waters. Await for the tow line. Up the ramp, tail first. Before any air operations, a helicopter takes off and is on station to pick up pilots that might have to ditch. Pilots are manning their planes. During winter, when the sea temperature was below 60 degrees, pilots wore exposure suits to prevent hypothermia in case of having to bail out or ditch in the water. The plane captain is assisting me while getting into the cockpit. He hands me the maps, the target photos, and it helps adjust the shoulder straps. On these two planes taxing out, observe these bombs underneath the wings. These planes are F-9F Panthers, the Navy's premier carrier jet during the Korean War. The Panthers are catapulted off the Phil Sea. Notice the 47 painted up forward on the flight deck.
I'm Ray Whitehead, a member of the BMD 154 that we fought in the war in 1942. Our uh, job was to photograph the islands in South Pacific. And I have here a story that I'll show you here. This represents the United States Marine Corps. The United States Marine Corps was noted for around the world. You see the band around the world here. We was an aviation outfit, and these wings here indicate the aviation. Our mascot in the Marine Corps was a bulldog, so the bulldog is showed right there. Our job was a photograph, so here's a camera in the bulldog's mouth. Now, V stands for fixed wings, M stands for marine, and D stands for photography. The VMD-154, United States Marine Corps. I'm sure they did. Yeah, I think they did. Dallas. He was really into dog hat. Tell Kathy about how you would use a photo bag and <coughs> process your film in the plane and then maybe drop it to a, okay. a ship. Sure. We had in in those planes, the B-24s and the Bombay, we had these huge aero cameras. Mm -hmm. One of them uh, had uh, 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 the lens was a was the camera uh, uh, film machine uh, packet and the uh, lens was about that long and the lens was about that big around. It took one man totally to carry that one by itself, that one by itself. Mm -hmm. And then we had about two other uh, big, big, huge cameras. They, they had these films in big rolls of film. Mm -hmm in these uh, big aero cameras, and they were mounted in the yeah. Bombay on one side. Mm -hmm. Then on the other side, we had a, a dark room, a little dark room. And what would happen, they'd, they'd make these runs over an island, mapping an island. They'd make mm -hmm. one run, come back, make another run, and they were in, uh, on, uh, on strips. They were all... Uh, uh, each Fair one right. of these runs was a strip okay. of film. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They'd take the film out after we finished uh, mapping it, put it in put it in this little dark room, and then the photographer would develop that film in flight. They had, in the, he, uh, and all that was in there, it didn't have any kind of light or anything. He, his hands were in this little, little dog house where the film was and the developing stuff. Mm -hmm. And after his hands was in there and he was d uh, developing this stuff, they had these rubber or tight gloves or things that came all the way up this arm mm -hmm. and all the way up this arm. So there the wouldn't any light get in there when he was developing. You had to know how to do it with your hands. Mm -hmm. You had to do everything without your hand. You had to know how to do it mm -hmm. uh, automatically. Yeah. They developed that, then the film went in, developed film went in the canisters, and it was dropped. They had a naval photographic ship that was a total photo lab. Mm -hmm. They also had, the Marines also had a uh, photo trailer on Rendova Island. This film was either dropped to the naval ship or to the Marine trailer. Mm -hmm. They would develop that, uh, they would print that, and then get this map up to back up to the front lines or whoever mm -hmm. was going to use it. Mm -hmm. And that was a process that we used a lot of time. Now, not all the film was done that. A lot, some of it was brought back to the to uh, Hebrides, and we developed it in the photo lab there mm -hmm. in the Hebrides. But that was a process on some of it, of mm -hmm. actually developing the film in the flight in the B-24 Bombay. Well, that's wow. great to know. Thank you. Mm -hmm.